when you are going for a retreat we live and eat in evil times let your loved ones know where you are going so that they know you are safe they know the difference between a kidnap and a retreat don't put people under stress because you are alone with god because there are people who hear messages like this and say my own starts from this night they won't go back home now and their loved ones will be looking for them for a long time church people are very interesting people it's good to obey instructions but wisdom is profitable to direct shout aloud amen, amen. welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Most believers are not taught that a retreat is part of the believer's process. Retreats are times where you set apart, you set apart time to be with the Lord, to be all by yourself, slogging it out with destiny. Listen carefully. A retreat is a time that is set apart, away from the noise. If God grants you grace and you are buoyant enough, you can travel somewhere, be alone with God. At any level, you can even use your house, just away from the noise and distraction. Take a day, take a two days, take three days, and spend with the Lord. What do you do in a retreat? Number one, thanksgiving. The first thing we do in a retreat is to personally, lavishly express gratitude to the God who has kept you. Please learn this. Believers must be taught. What do you do in a retreat? Number two, an honest appraisal of the current year, the year ending now. You do an appraisal of the year. This is the second thing we do in a retreat. After you are done thanking God, rolling before your maker, thanking him for all he's done, the next thing is you must appraise the year. And I've taught you the indices that you use to appraise your year. Your spiritual growth, your level of mental transformation, your level of health and wholeness. Are we together? Your relationships, your finances, purpose and, you know, destiny advancement you gauge your life against these indices have i done well this year what would i have done better this year that i did not do what opportunities did i miss what opportunities did i maximize what instructions did i ignore what was the price the consequence are we together let me tell you this when you are doing an appraisal of yourself do not lie to yourself be sincere and honest as transparent before god as you can be okay this year i lost a lot of opportunities because of carelessness this year from a spiritual standpoint i was not serious in my prayer life not to feel condemned it is between you and god it's nobody's business this year had my highest rating in terms of spiritual growth but as a father i must confess that this year I was, I did not perform my fatherly role to my family as should be. I allowed my wife to be the person feeding us all through this year. And I did not even tell her, thank you. You're having a retreat now. Lord, forgive me. Don't feel condemned. Lord, forgive me. This year, I allowed my children. I don't even know where they got their school fees from. It's only God that saved them. They would have prostituted themselves. I take responsibility. A retreat is not the time to dance and ask God for more anointing. You appraise yourself first. After thanksgiving, appraisal. As a man of God, did I teach Koinonia the best that I could? Did I help the people? Did I manipulate the people? Did I teach them truth? Was I sound in scripture? Is there something about my teaching method I need to change? As a CEO, go for a retreat. Doesn't matter that it's a secular corporation. Okay, have I paid my people well? We made so much gain this year. Did I share the honor? Did I increase their salary? Some of the pillars in my company, did I bless them? Or I just ignored everybody? I had all the profit alone as a CEO. And the Holy Spirit tells you this is wrong. You need to change. Motivate your people. Encourage them. The security man who stopped armed robbers from killing you, he's still receiving 5,000 till now. You would have been dead, long dead. The man has a secret to all your office doors and all of that. And he's not touched one naira. You are still giving him 5,000. 
He told you his wife has given birth. You are still giving him 5,000. Retreats. That's where you flog it out. As a man of God, I need to improve on my teaching. There's a lot of spiritual laziness. No. I need to step up. Maybe I need to go and meet another man of God. Have some time of discussion. Let iron sharpen iron. You see that now? As a ministry, I think we need to move to the next level. Structural establishment. As a businessman, in the place you are appraising yourself, we had potential to have five branches of my business, but laziness and carelessness and fear kept me in one place. This is what you do during a retreat. Any great man, whether in the secular or in the faith walk, who does not practice retreats can never be exceptional. End of year retreats. Now, generally speaking, you shouldn't wait to, till the end of year before you do retreats. You can fragment your life across various phases. There are people who have retreats once every month. They have retreats at strategic periods of their lives, their birthdays, their anniversaries. But every believer as a kingdom culture. One of the reasons why we give break, you can imagine, I told you already that a dear man of God confronted me one time and said, Apostle, you're an interesting person. How do you give a ministry this size break? What if you resume and nobody comes? You know, we give breaks for these kinds of reasons. To give you room because your relationship with God is greater than ministry. If you remain faithful koinonia people and you are going down spiritually, we are only playing games here. You know that, right? So this is you and God now. Spending time with God, spending time with family, spending time building your destiny. I want you built too, not just the ministry built. It is people who are built that can build the vision. You believe that? If a CEO goes to have two days with his directors or alone with god imagine what happens when he returns by january february that person would have surpassed ordinary standards now let me tell you the truth this is the reason why most africans do not thrive because we do not believe in this without trying to you know create any bias of regional biases one of the things that you learn from the west is that they they maximize moments like this they take the time, they can travel somewhere to one village that nobody knows. And you will see someone who is a multi-millionaire in a village somewhere, just book an Airbnb and sit down there asking serious questions. These are the kind of people that Jesus said they are not far from, you know, the kingdom. Because they are practicing all that is left is for them to be born again. But as far as pro-kingdom principles are concerned, they are working in it. Let me challenge you for some of you. You have never had a retreat. Don't be too busy for a retreat. It's an attack. There are things God has wanted to tell you. He's been wanting to tell you for a long time. But maybe you're being a worker. You're being diligent as a worker will even distract you. The vicissitudes of life. Now in that silence, he can come to you and say, Since March, I've been wanting to point something to you. But you are too busy to hear. Now thank God you have given me time. And one direction from him. That leads me to the third. What do you do in a retreat? Number three. Planning and resolutions for the next season. I hope, you, I hope I've not lost you. We're talking about retreats now. Go for an end of year, a personal retreat. What do you do in a retreat? Thanksgiving. What do you do in a retreat? An honest appraisal of the year. You appraise yourself. What do you do in a retreat? Planning and resolutions for the next season. Now you begin to plan. How much do I earn? How can I plan better? How, how do I need to, you know, work my spiritual life? I started this year as, you know, an ordinary staff. Now I've occupied a managerial position. I have to design a new spiritual formula for my remaining spiritually vibrant. This is where planning comes. You plan. What do you do in a retreat? You obtain the doing grace. There is a grace called the doing or the enabling grace. It says, now that you know these things, happy are you if you do them. It's not enough to just plan. Most of you have your books full of things you plan to do this year. Some of you did not do even one. Don't end a retreat 
just by proper beautiful planning no many are the devices in a man's heart the bible says however the counsel of the lord alone that shall stand and when god gives you counsel he also gives you the doing grace the doing grace when we started this year there are many things that god gave us an instruction that we do we did not know at, as yet how they would be done but glory be to god listening to him and obtaining that doing grace granted us the opportunity to do very great things for god this year let me recap again that a retreat is a time that is set about apart to be with the lord it's a time of renewal it's a time of refreshing it's a time to get direction for your life it's also a time of empowerment you are empowered by the spirit fresh anointing fresh grace you are a man of god for instance and you go for a retreat you'll be surprised what happens there you spend the two three days one week with the lord you come out like the eagle ready for next year ready with great fire ready with great grace hallelujah is it it is at times like this that we receive prophetic words that direct the body of christ towards the next season you don't just sit down and guess what the prophetic word is um which one have we used before okay we have used a, a shining year if we now say the year that um what looks like what people would like you are playing games you will not see any performance because god is not a joker it's in the secret place as you are stretching praying his voice comes this is what i want to do to the people and you receive it for yourself then you announce it in koinonia 31st december 6 p.m west african time on the dot all through our social media platforms the prophetic word for the next year is released and that's what guides us we walk based on times and seasons and there are people who don't believe in prophetic words for the year there's nothing wrong you know it's just the revelation how god has given them but as a ministry and as a global family god has so chosen by his wisdom to guide us giving us prophetic words for the year that become a compass because we walk in this world based on the law of times and seasons and god is not doing everything all the time are we together so go for a retreat say i receive grace one more time say i receive grace to go for a retreat let me plead with friends and families and spouses commit yourself to helping one another have that retreat don't just say a spouse wants to go for a retreat you start shouting the bible says what god has joined mm -mm. explain discourse as it and you as a spouse don't just leave and nobody knows you have gone they think you are missing and then after one week you say ah should i not be about my father's business that was jesus not mary and not joseph hallelujah when you are going for a retreat we live and eat in evil times let your loved ones know where you are going so that they know you are safe they know the difference between a kidnap and a retreat don't put people under stress because you are alone with god because there are people who hear messages like this and say my own starts from this night they won't go back home now and their loved ones will be looking for them for a long time church people are very interesting people it's good to obey instructions but wisdom is profitable to direct shout a loud amen so when you have people around your life don't ignore them let them know okay i'll be going for a retreat from this day to that day this is where i'll be by god's grace if you call me and i don't pick don't don't worry i'm safe i'm fine i'll be spending this time with the lord hallelujah are we together go for a retreat oh in the name of jesus please go for a retreat i'm challenging you this this is a is a secret that has helped some of us i don't know how my life would have been today without retreats give god time and you will hear him in a way that will surprise you give god time and he will give you direction one direction that comes from that secret place will redefine the next 10 years of your life carry all your pain carry all your confusion carry all your burdens carry everything to him cry before him and let him give you direction let him give you help we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch
powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.